Well, you know, it's uh, it's a better late than never. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a better late than never again. Uh, almost 30 years ago now, I think it's uh, it's been. Uh, our next guest first appeared on the show and hasn't been on since. <laughs> we'll find out why, maybe. But uh, he was one of the uh, world's uh, renowned drummers. Drummer for Billy Joel for many years. All the success. And uh, he's obviously uh, played drums for a lot of other people. Uh, been on a lot of documentaries. And now he's got a new book out called Liberty, Life, Billy, and the Pursuit of Happiness. And he does uh, have a Kalamazoo connection. Uh, please welcome back to the program, Liberty DeVito. Liberty, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? Doing great. Uh, before we talk about the book, I have to establish something. It was almost 30 years ago that you were on this show with me, Okay. You were you were coming to Kalamazoo to do a, a drum demo at Joe Start uh, uh, Joe Stout shop. Joe Stout, yes, the sandwich shop. Yes. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you marry a girl from Kalamazoo? I did, and, uh, and I must add that I also divorced a girl from Kalamazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the same girl? <laughs> we have her right here today as a guest on the show. I'm yeah, kidding. She's I'm right totally here. No. kidding. No. Yeah. And uh, and back then you you allowed me to call you Lib. Can I still do that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So th- then the next the next obvious question, Lib, is uh, it's been almost thirty years. Was it something that I said or? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't order the Liberty DeVito from Joe Stout. Oh man, I, I missed that sandwich shop, dude. He made great sandwiches. I miss Joe too. I know he's in Florida somewhere and uh, doing great I, things. I saw I, I saw him last February. Oh, you uh, did. The, the, my band, the Lords of Fifty Second Street, we played down in in Florida, and all of a sudden I'm backstage, and this guy walks up to me, and it's Joe. Wow. How did you get here? <laughs> Yeah, he uh, he snuck in. He's so unassuming at six nine, you know. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. All right, we're here with uh, we're here with Liberty DeVito, um, and I'm trying and I'm trying to remember which of the documentaries we were, was it Hired Gun? Was that the documentary? Yeah. Yes, uh, great documentary, um, and it, it it sort of showed us a lot about what what it's really like to be in rock and roll and where the control lies, and uh, knowing you. Um, it, uh, wow, it was, it was disturbing and, uh, it, I felt like it was unfair and uh, we're not here to talk about that, but I imagine you address some of that in the new book, uh, Liberty, Life, Billy, and the Pursuit of Happiness. Yes, I do. Uh, you know, back at Hired Gun, I, I was, nobody knew my story, what had happened with, with me and Billy. And hired gun, and as like just like uh, nobody knew uh, Kenny Aronoff's story with with uh, John Cougar Mellencamp. Yeah. Uh, so it was like it was our opportunities to tell what it was like to to be with these people. You know, everybody thinks that because the artist is a, a millionaire, you're a millionaire. You know, uh, everybody thinks that, that kind of thing. They don't know what it's really like. So that's what the opportunity that hired gun gave us. The book now. It's it's me, my life, and how I got to the point of playing on 23 of 24 Billy Joel Top 40 hits and uh, how I played on all his Grammy hits and and how we had a, the falling out and then reconciled at the end. I see. All right. We're here with uh, with the man, the myth, the legend. We loved him for years. Liberty DeVito. Liberty, Life, Billy, and the Pursuit of Happiness is the book. One of the things that uh, startled me and many people that I know after watching, or at least finding out about that, is we talk about income inequality in this country. That may be the most drastic income inequality anywhere. Yeah, uh, it is. Uh it, it, it's a strange business to be in. Uh, believe me, if you don't have the passion for it, and and if you're not strong enough to take uh, uh, criticism and things like that, and and you have to, you know, bow down to this this almost mega god that, that's name is on the billboard. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have the strength to do that, 
you, you shouldn't be in the business. Yeah, and, and unfortunately the business is riddled with people like that. And you know, you have to have an ego to do it. And then what happens is the, the ego gets fed and gets out of control and then they, they forget uh, where they came from. So, you know, uh, was it was it a surprise to you that he went that way or did did you see it coming? And, you know, I mean, what was the deal? Well, there's so many people around uh, uh, Billy uh, and any artist like that that they, they, they find the opportunity to take things without asking <laughs> that way. And, uh, so I saw him get screwed uh, many times, uh, and you know it's like how much can of that can you take? Uh, and when he had to take stuff back from us like uh, uh, royalties and, and, and uh, uh, percentages of the gross and put us on salary. It was like, and he even said to me, he said, I feel like a, 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 um, Peter stealing from Paul, but uh, I have to do this because I'm, I'm going under, you know? Uh, and that's what the book is about, too. It's about how now at my older age, <laughs> I can understand him more. And I look back at reasons why he did what he did. You know, uh, and you you got to understand that this guy was the biggest single artist almost ever, and and he's under the pressure of writing songs, he's under the pressure of performing the songs, playing piano, singing, and I'm the drummer. You know, it's like it yeah. depends on me to help him with the songs, and I should understand how he feels. Well, and, I but. And, 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 yeah, but I mean, uh, you know, and I've, I've learned this from, from the documentaries and reading other stuff, but w without you guys, and without you in particular, these songs would not have been the same. I realize he's got to write them and perform them, but the input that you guys had is immeasurable. Oh, yeah, we, we did. Ringo was in the Beatles. <laughs> I played Billy Joel. But in the studio, what was the difference between what I did and what Ringo did? We did the same thing. We enhanced the song. We played the parts. Um, we made up the parts. So, but Ringo got to share the wealth with it because he was in the band, the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we're just like hired help, us guys. Yeah. We didn't. Uh, we. we and yeah. And don't get me wrong. I did put my girls through school and 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 raise our families. You know. My ex-wives live very well. <laughs> and one of them is living very well here in Cal... No, I don't think that's a good No. Listen, man, I, I, I know it's it's been almost 30 years, and I've been waiting to talk to you after watching the doc and, and uh, reading the stuff, and I'm, uh, I, I can't wait to read the book. It's Liberty, Life, Billy, and the Pursuit of Happiness. It's a must-read. Uh, Amazon.com, uh, HudsonMusic.com, you, uh, you can check it out. And uh, man, just hang hang in there, stay well, and we can't wait to talk to you again. Well, thank you so much.